Hi guys, welcome back to Rock Fabulous 40s and today I'm going to talk about a couple of products that I picked up while I was in Vegas and don't mind my hair and makeup today, it is a t-shirt and sweats kind of a day. I've got some errands to run, my face is a big broken out mess so I didn't feel like throwing a whole bunch of makeup on so I tried to just keep it very light and natural and not go around cake face because I'm trying to cover up a whole bunch of zits on my face. Anyway. I want to talk about, um, like I said, some products I picked up in Vegas. And while I was in Las Vegas, I went into the um, the forum shops in Caesar's Palace. And in there, they have got all sorts of different makeup stores in there. They've got two different MAC stores. I saw NARS. I saw two different Dior stores. I mean, you name it, they had it in those forum shops. And they weren't the types of stores that um, you would go into, you know, like if you go into a mall and you go into a Dillard's or you go into a Macy's and they have little corners or little counters set up where you can go in and you can get, you know, Dior or you can get, you know, these different type brands. It wasn't like that. These were the actual full-size stores in this mall. All right, so one of the stores that I went into was Inglot because I had heard so many people talk about the Inglot eyeliner that I just had to try it. I didn't want to buy it online because I like to go in and feel and touch and swatch and, you know, see if I like it before I buy it. So I went into Inglot and I picked up a Build Your Own eyeshadow palette and a gel eyeliner. So I'm really, really excited to talk about these today. All right, so we're going to start with the eyeshadow palette that I picked up. And I picked up a Build Your Own palette. And what that means is, is you walk into the store and they have like a bazillion eyeshadows laid out on their counter. And you can go through and you can swatch and you can test and you can pick out the shadows that you like. Once you pick out the shadows that you like, then you pick out the palette you want. So I picked out a four pan palette and then I picked out four shadows. So the palette I picked out is a hard plastic and it's really pretty much the only palettes they've got. I think they've got, well they've got two pan palettes, they've got four pan palettes, I think they have 16 pan palettes, but this type of style was all that I saw in the store. So I believe this type of style is all they have. So the packaging is a very, very hard packaging, the palette itself, and it's magnetic so you can actually pull it apart or you can keep the magnetics together so it's any way you choose to do it the magnetic is very very strong on it I'm really digging this magnetic closure stuff guys but the magnetics on here are really really strong so I'd have no fear trying to travel with this at all I mean it just I, I wouldn't worry about it coming open um, the four pan palette itself I believe was sixteen dollars and the product that I picked out that I put in the palette was I believe seven a piece I think it was either seven or nine I'll leave links down below guys so it was either seven or nine dollars a piece anyways I picked out colors that would be colors that I could wear every day I didn't go with any elaborate you know just bright colors because I wanted to make sure that these were things that I was going to wear and not something that I was going to get home and try on my eyes and go you know that doesn't look right for me and then just kind of toss it off into a corner and never wear it again. I wanted to actually get these and wear them. So I picked out colors I knew that I could wear on an everyday basis. So the thing about Inglot is Inglot does not name their colors. They just put numbers on their colors. That's how they identify them. So none of these colors have names. And honestly, guys, once I put them in my palette, the magnetic is so strong, it's kind of hard to get the pans out. So I don't exactly remember what all the colors are that I picked up, but I will leave the names of all the, or the names, I will leave the numbers of all the colors down below. And what I got, I have an itch, sorry. What I got is I've got two matte shades, which are at the top here. And one of them is kind of a tannish, almost skin color for me, which I really like. And then this one is kind of a very, very light pink color. And then I got down below here, this purple down here. It's not completely matte. I would call it kind of a satin finish. It's not shimmery by any means, but I would call it a satin finish, gorgeous color. And then this one here, this is a shimmer. This is a shimmery kind of peak. Peaky. Peaky. Is, is there such color as peaky called peaky? Peachy pink. <laughs> it's a very shimmery peachy pink color. So I am wearing these today and let me get a close up here so you guys can see. Sorry if my table is a little shaky. Alright so I have the matte light pink all over the lid from the lid to the crease. I've got the um, almost the skin color -y one in the crease, which kind of deepened up the crease just a little bit. Then I've got the um, plum here, 
in the crease and in the outer V, and then I've got this shimmery pinky peach all over the lid. And then I've got a little bit more of the plum down under the lower lash line. Let me show you guys swatches of the colors here. And guys, for the colors that I got, from being very natural colors, like, um, oh, like these two here, the tan and the pink, for them being very natural colors, they are very pretty pigmented. Now these shades, they are very buttery feeling, they're soft feeling, they do have a little bit of fallout, so you definitely want to tap your brush off while using them. Um, but they are gorgeous and they just blend so, so easily. And one of the things that I love about them is you can blend and blend and blend and blend and the colors don't all muddle together. You can still see all the different colors and I just absolutely love that. So I am so, 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 so happy with this and I'm glad I picked it up and I'm thinking about going online um, on Inglot and ordering another palette and some more shades because I'm just loving this. All right, moving on to the liner. Now the liner, I'm just gonna say right off the bat that why haven't I tried this when I first started hearing about Inglot? This liner is amazing. This has got to be literally the best gel eyeliner, potted eyeliner, I have ever used. And I've still got an eyeliner in a, from a haul that I did um, not too long ago that I still need to do a review on, and it's a good eyeliner, but this, I am absolutely loving this. All right, so this is the Inglot Liner in number 77, which is just a black, and it's, it's just a gel eyeliner. That's all they call it, eyeliner gel. That's what they call it. I have used it seven or eight, maybe nine times, and that is all I have used out of it. Look at that. It doesn't take much. This stuff is so creamy. It just spreads so nicely. Let me do a swatch for you guys. I'm just going to grab just a little tiny, tiny bit out of the pot here. I'm telling you, you don't need much. I'm going to put it on top of one of my eyeshadow swatches and it is so black and just so freaking amazing I just I absolutely love it I am wearing it today I didn't do a cat eye with it today because like I said I wanted to stay a little more natural um, but I am wearing it today I did cat eyes with it several times and it makes a cat eye so easy I mean literally the stuff is so smooth instead of just trying to go feather 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 and trying to get the eyeliner on it is so smooth I can just pretty much go swipe swipe done I mean this stuff is just amazing and I'm loving it now one of the one of the things about this eyeliner though that I think I should warn people about is it dries quick and what, once it's set, it's set. It doesn't budge. So you want to make sure that if you're working with it, you work with it pretty quickly. Um, I find it easier to do different looks depending on the brush that I use and I'm sure that's pretty typical with probably almost any eyeliner. But with this, this brush, this is my Real Techniques Fine Liner brush. With this brush, I get more of a natural look and I can also take this brush and use it to you know, tight line right underneath as well and I can get in between all of those lashes so that's what this one is great for this little three dollar elf brush here this little angled elf eyeliner brush perfect perfect cat eyes with this brush so a mixture between this liner and this brush I can get the perfect winged liner I just absolutely love this stuff it um, when you go to try to take it off though you do want to use a makeup remover and soak it on a cotton ball and let it sit on your eye for a minute so you're not having to scrub it off your eye because it does take it a second to come off your eyes. I'm once, Like I said, once it's dried, it's set. I've worn it out for the evening. Um, I've worn it out with friends. I've worn it out to a little club that we go to and it, it didn't budge. It didn't flake. It didn't, I mean, it was great stuff. And they've got this in like 
gosh, I don't know how many colors I saw. I saw probably 10, 15 colors. Anyways, I will, I don't remember how much this cost either. So I will leave links for it again down below. And um, like I said, mine is in the color 77. It's just your jet black. And I will continue to buy this. So when it A, either dries up, God, please don't dry up, or B, I run out, it will be reordered because I'm just, I'm loving this. It is so worth it. This one, th this one, just, just worth it. Maybe I'll go buy 10 of them. I don't know. Anyways, guys, so that is my review on the Inglot products that I picked up while in Vegas. I hope this was somewhat helpful. If it was, go ahead and leave comments down below. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. You can look me up on my website at www.rockfabulousonline.com. You can look me up on Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, all under Rock Fabulous 40s. Also, guys, don't forget to hit subscribe down there somewhere. And you too can rock your fabulous 40s. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.